Meanwhile, even without an education minister, education ministry officials are moving ahead with plans for the start of the new school year. The education ministry says it has developed several approaches that will involve online learning in some way for all levels of the education sector. The revelation was made at a Ministry of Education virtual back-to-school webinar on Wednesday. Back-to-school for many students is usually exciting. New uniform, school gears, and friends reuniting after a two-month summer break. This break, though, is extended. The restart of school is still delayed for at least another 25 days until October 5, and uncertainty abounds. The Education Ministry is finalizing a new suite of teaching methods matching the COVID-19 era. The first, the blended approach. It means that we're going to utilize several strategies to engage you in the learning activities. So yes, in the blended approach, you will have limited face-to-face -face or in-person engagements. Dr. Kassan Troop is acting chief education officer. The ministry is creating its own e-home school network, mostly focused on primary school students, but will be extended to high school. But many students live in deep rural areas with poor internet connectivity. We have started a series of conversations with our telecom providers to make sure that this can be supported and that's part of the blended approach going forward. And a part of the blended approach also involves the learning kits, the printed learning kits. So we are conscious that a number of our schools in the deep remote areas may not be able to log on to the internet because of the infrastructural challenges with those um, devices. And so the Ministry of Education has put systems in place. Dr. Troop says printed learning kits will be provided for students who are unable to go online. So our regional offices are being equipped with printing facilities to make sure that our principals, as they prepare the learning episodes on the ground, as they plan in their common planning sessions, as they write the lesson plans and develop the contents, they can reach out to the Ministry of Education and we will print those for them and we will help to package them. So those students who are in the very remote areas, we will not leave you behind. Now that's for the blended approach. There's also the rotational approach. Which means that there will be days that our students and teachers will be physically in the physical school while others are working remotely from home or from a location that will allow them to log on to the internet or any other devices that will facilitate the virtual or computer-aided learning. And then you will have a flip. So they will be out like for two days this week and they will come back into the physical space for three days the following week. A staggered approach and extended day approach will be used for some schools. Now there are some schools and principals and parents who are very concerned about the rotational model. And so they would prefer if their students or their children are engaged daily and we reduce the number of hours daily and the extended time continues at home. So they would come to school um, from, for example, 7 o'clock to 12 o'clock and another set will come at 12 to 3 o'clock, right? Or they will come to school at 8.30 and the sessions are reduced. So a session will normally be 45 minutes to make sure that everybody gets a touch of the teacher each day. The sessions are reduced to 25 to 30, ses 30 minutes. Dr. Troop says a completely online approach is being considered for older students, especially those in sixth form and the tertiary institutions. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.